Dear God, this is where we're sleeping? Oh, come on, Lois. They said they'd have the car fixed by tomorrow, and then our second honeymoon's back on track, eh? Peter, there's a hooker on the bed. Hi. Stand perfectly still, Lois. Their vision is based on movement. Where'd you go? And now, back to Two and a Half Men. Ah! Ah! Kill me! Turn it, Chris. I want to watch George Lopez. That show only furthers the stereotype that George Lopez is funny. Give me that! Chris, give me the go. remote! Chris, stop! Stop Chris, catching it! Chris, my hat! <laughs> Wear it now! Ah! Hey, uh, uh, you two better settle down. Chris, give Meg her hat. I don't have to listen to you. You're a dog. You don't have a soul. Ow. Don't take that. Raise your voice to them. Hey, knock it off! Look, you kids are obviously in need of some type of activity, so, uh, uh, I don't know, what do you say we read a book or something? Stewie, what does Peter have on his bookshelf? Uh, two Garfield books and the novelization of the movie Caddyshack. ma na 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 said Ty, sinking yet another ball. ma na 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 Oh, hang on. Oh, thank God. Garfield at Large by Jim Davis. Now, as you can see in this panel, Garfield doesn't care for Nermal. But like him or not, Nermal is here to stay. Or is he? Let's read on. Okay, I'll be there. Peter and Lois were supposed to chaperone Chris's school dance tomorrow night, so I guess it's up to me. You mean it's up to us? Clearly you need my help with this parenting thing. You're too stupid to do it alone. Besides, I know how to deal with children, unlike Mr. Geppetto. Oh, no, I dropped my glasses. Uh, by the way, uh, Pinocchio, uh, there was a cookie missing from the jar. Did you, uh, did you take it by any chance? Yes, Papa Geppetto. I'm sorry. Are you sure you took it? Because... Uh, I'd believe you if you said you didn't. No, I took it, Papa. I wouldn't lie to you. You could try. Who knows, you might get away with it. Nine hundred bucks to fix the car. That was all the money we had for this trip. Look, Peter, the second honeymoon was a nice start, but maybe we should just go home. <sighs> Coming up, handsome, mustachioed man recaps news in pleasing baritone. Stay tuned for this... And more. But first, Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa is on hand for the opening of Manhattan's newest luxury hotel. Diane, I'm standing outside the Park Barrington Hotel because they don't allow Asians inside. Fancy place. Boy, that'd make some second honeymoon, huh? The Park Barrington is already attracting some big names, such as Christianity enthusiast Mel Gibson, who has his own room on permanent reserve. A room which he barely uses. Barely uses, huh? Lois, I just got an idea. Much better than that time I experimented with gene splicing. Uh, Lois, quick question. Do we have any Tylenol? Oh, how I envy them, dog. They've got their whole lives ahead of them. Oh, man, look at that kid. That is one ugly eighth grader. You don't want to hurt yourself dancing. Make sure you stretch out those creamy hamstrings. Come on, Chris. It's just vodka. Jake swiped it from his dad's liquor cabinet. Yeah, see? It's good. Well, okay. Maybe just one sip. Christopher Griffin, is that alcohol? Mister, you're in serious trouble. He's absolutely right, kids. Because when you drink, nobody wins. In fact, last year alone, there were over 27,000 deaths from chronic liver disease as a result of alcohol abuse. Now we know! And knowing is half the battle. G.I. 